the 49ers will not win a Super Bowl as long as the Yorks are the owners. Oh, yeah. Now, again, of course, I'm an old bastard. You know, I've seen uh, the five Super Bowls won by this team. Um, and But the one thing I have seen over the last 20 years is the league change. And I've also seen what it takes to win in this particular uh, world or climate. You got to have a good owner. You got to have a good GM. You got to have a good head coach. And then you have a good quarterback. We have a team right now that has a poor owner that has already built a clique. He is financing a clique inside of his own team. Yep. We have a general manager who really has no experience and for the most part plays good cop. Mm. And then we have an arrogant, entitled mm-hmm. coach who thinks that just because he listens to Lil Wayne, he has street cred. Ooh. <clears throat> you can't now, prepare today, Papa Dragon. Ultimately, hey, hey, this is just off. I'm going to shut up. Go ahead. This is off. You the got cup. the floor. This is off the cup. So, the reality is, moving forward in the current league, we have a passing league. Period. The Niners will continue to run through the regular season into the playoffs almost year after year. But we saw what happened when their quarterbacks were taken away. Now, people are saying, oh, it's just a fluke, blah, blah, blah. Getting two quarterbacks injured in a game is not a fluke. That is a pattern. We have consistently seen this coach double down on his poor decisions because there is no one to challenge him. The reality is is that if he was an offensive coordinator and has done some of the things that he's done, he'd been fired a long time ago. He is, he, he is legitimately another version of Mike Martz. Hmm. He really is. Let me get a player. I'll plug him into my system. Get rid of the ball quick. Take, throw the ball where I want you to, and you'll win. That doesn't win championships. Mike Martz, though, Mike Martz at least understood about the passing game. Kyle doesn't. Like Kyle is all run and play action. And that's that was J.T. O'Sullivan's point. That's Kurt Warner's point. J.T. O'Sullivan and Kurt Warner both played for Mike Martz. I'm t- I think there are a lot of uh, similarities between Martz and Kyle Shanahan, but that is the one difference. At least Martz knew about throwing the ball. Right. Throwing the ball. Exactly. Had a Hall of Fame quarterback. <clears throat> Today's players are faster, they're stronger, but they're not as well calloused. What I mean by calloused, right. they don't have mini camps. They don't hit with pads on. And then you don't have two why- a days. Exactly. Exactly. Period. So there's yeah. that issue. So I'm going to run the offense the way it was run back in the day when we had actual mini camps and when we could hit. Yeah. We and could you could, and that way you could practice all the different uh, blocking combinations and the run plays over and over and over and over again. Now you can't do that. That's why everyone does zone blocking because it's simple. You can't. You can't. You in the old days you would spend ninety minutes just on goal line. Yeah. 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 With yeah. Pads, yeah. But you yeah. can't do that anymore. So no. Look at those instances, and you look at his flawed plan. It's flawed in so many ways, and they're on the surface, Grant. They're yeah. on the surface. Yeah. We have almost a hundred million dollars wrapped up in D line salaries. Yeah. But yet, you can hold Nick Bosa in the Super Bowl, and it won't get called. That's right. What is that's that right. Uh, but 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 if if uh, Traverius Ward even breathes on the wide receiver, that's 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 an automatic first down right there. I, I, Illegal I breathing. That. The plan is flawed because if you come across a top quarterback and a top coach, which you typically do in the playoffs, and right. now they're all over the AFC, they're all right. over the AFC. So you're gonna right. you're gonna face someone top notch when you get there. Do you really mean to tell me seriously that Brock Purdy is gonna outplay Patrick Mahomes? Do you really no. explain? Is he gonna is he gonna outplay Josh Allen, Joe Burrow? I'm sorry. Right, and the Niners, the Niners act like he doesn't have to, right, because their defense and run game is so good. Like, no, you have to pass the ball to win the Super Bowl eventually. You could get to the NFC Championship running it, but you eventually have to pass the ball to win the Super Bowl. Pass and, for lots of points. Taking and, and Trey Lance has the pot- potential to do that, but you'll never realize it if you don't have a plan, and their only plan is this. And this was on full display during the owners' meetings. They don't care about Trey. They don't care about Brock. They don't even care about Darnold. They care about a quarterback room. And a right. room doesn't take center. No. They want their salary for their room to be like this. Yeah. There's yeah, a salary right. for their room. 
Their right. And they're so proud. Is horrendous. Their offensive line salary is just stupid. Yeah. It's dumb. It, it's, and, and so I, they I, find themselves in essentially playoff purgatory, like where they're getting far, but they don't have the team that's built to go all the way. And they're saying, well, we had bad luck. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you think John Harbaugh would have would have instantly been like, oh, Cabo Click, that sounds like a great idea? No. Hell no. No. Not a real coach no. is not going to settle for that. No. Okay. And I can't have that. Kyle's in the same age length. But remember, you got other guys in that locker room who don't get paid yeah. as much. Or may have yeah. to do more, or are treated differently. Okay, and that's understandable. But the reality is, don't put it on full display. Real quick, if you, you got to go watch this JT O'Sullivan video, one of the things he talks about is Kyle Shanahan being a nepotism coach, and the fact that he's buddy buddy with the players. I think JT O'Sullivan kind of insinuates that Kyle is buddy buddy with the players to sort of ins, uh, insulate himself. From players being like, oh, he's just a coach's son. Like, no, pe players like him. Like, it's a, he needs the players to like him because otherwise, he's just Mike Shanahan's son. And who the hell is he? He never played in the league. And he barely played else, in college. Who else is the same way? Jed. Who? Jed's the same way. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna spin for you so that you'll like. That's These true. Leadership skills. Yeah, Jed is insecure about about like his subordinates liking him the way Kyle is kind of insecure about his best players liking him. Exactly. That's what I'm yeah, saying. that's a good point. Yeah. And then the reality is, and then is Jed really all powerful? No, because the person that moves apparently that moves things is when his dad, Doctor York, shows up to practice when they're three and right. five. And right. Again, what did they do? Same I don't even actually know how much Jed does anymore. Remember, Jed was like he fired Harbaugh, he hired Tom Sula, he fired Tom Sula, he hired Chip Kelly. At a certain point, it's possible like the parents came back and like you know what, Jed, <laughs> we're gonna do this as a family now. You know, I, I don't know how I don't I don't know that Jed is making unilateral decisions anymore in that oh, organization not. like he was. I don't think he's he is. Not, but he still makes decisions that impact things. Great. Well, he still talks. The yeah. Room impacts yeah. Things. Yeah. And then he organizes the Cabo trip. Exactly. He inserted himself last, into it. Yeah. Yeah. Callers. Last thing I want to say is, is that I really appreciate uh, your conversations with your dad. I think it's awesome. Losing Thanks. my mom the last year. You know, I really wish I had a. Uh, my dad to lean on like that and you're very very fortunate the both of you are to have each other and i think that's fantastic so keep up the good work and um you know i i don't like everything you say or love everything that you uh do but i still tune in every single week and i value your opinion and um it this i just think you absolutely rock man so if um if, if we move forward and if we win a super bowl for the 49ers a lot of things have to go right a lot of things have to go right. They has, they has, a lot of things have to go right. They have to play perfect. Shannon has to coach perfect, and they could possibly do it. But I just I just don't see it because the football game is imperfect. And a, a big illustration of that is, is, is the simple fact that we just had a Super Bowl with an injured quarterback, and he was down and down by a lot of people. And I told people, I said, that's Patrick Mahomes. I don't mm -hmm. care how many legs he only has. He only has one leg. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee you, Patrick Mahomes is going to win this game. He's the better mm -hmm. quarterback. And oh, he's not. Oh, you watch, and guess what happened? One leg, he runs for about twenty something yards. Has nothing to do with his arm. He's got. Oh, he ran for like forty something yards in that game. He yeah. only threw for one hundred and eighty-two yards. It was an amazing, amazing performance. That's what I'm saying. And we don't, yeah. we don't necessarily have that because we don't value it. We don't nope. value the position. We value Patrick the Mahomes was staring Kyle Shanahan in the face, and Kyle's like, "Sorry, Patrick, yep. I'm not even. I'm not interested." And, and, and Jed, John. And, and Shanahan are attached to the hip. They ain't yep. going nowhere for a long time. So it's going to be it seems a to me. great situation, to be honest with you. Yeah. Great call. Uh, one of your best. Always look forward to, to talking to you. Yes, sir.